Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy, your CEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding, dedicated. There's no one greater. Man, let's get it <laughs> Official Miss Jamaica. Wait. No, no, you know, my day will all go on. And y'all don't forget to like and subscribe Yo. to our YouTube channel. Man, you don't know my day I won't go on around this house. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man. This is your boy, ACO, man. We got a special guest today. KP, baby, is when she introduced us. So how you do it? How you, how you intro? Oh, my intro. KP, baby. Hey! I love the way how you say it. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. Thank you. So, 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 you know, our fans would love to know your background. We want to know about you as a person growing up. Oh, because I see your social media go crazy. You have so many fans. But have you ever really just sat down and tell them your background? Tell them the things that you had to go through in life to bring you to where you are today? Basically, um, my background, well, I started off um, on Dub Smash. The little dancing app that was popular back, like, what, when, what, 2015, 2014, 2016? Who encouraged you just to go on that? Um, a lot of people, it was just popping, like, around, like, school and stuff. And, mm -hmm. I seen and you were in high school during that time? No, I think middle school. Middle elementary. school? Okay. Elementary, middle school. Yeah. So you started really young. I don't think it was elementary. I think it was, like, middle school. Okay. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I started young. And, and you started dancing at mm -hmm. that time? Okay. I was dancing probably when I was, like, what, seven, five, seven to, like, I think I was seven to, like, uh, maybe 14. Were you dancing for his school too, or uh, you just no, did it for social media? School. Yeah, okay. but I did do school, school, uh, inside school, like what high school. Mm -hmm. But yeah, other than that, no, I started popping like when I was an eighth grader. Oh, so you had you were popular at that time. Did any of your friends in school knew? Um, no, they did. They didn't know until you know we got posted and everybody just saw it and started following me and it was like, oh my god, I just seen you on Instagram. Yeah. Mm. So that's how I wow. kind of got started. How did that life. popularity get to your head? <coughs> it honestly didn't because it was just like I had an open mind and open heart to everybody. So it was just like, you know, if everybody mess with me, like I'm messing with y'all. So it's Okay. Because like, you weren't popular didn't. before that, right? No, not really. Honestly, I w I've had a very, very hard time trying to, you know, Get friends and be, you know, have friends. Why? And because it was just like they either didn't like me or they thought I was just, you know, a wannabe or, you know, like a follower or whatever the case may be. But so I really you weren't wasn't. a leader type no, of No, I wasn't. I was, I was a leader, but I wasn't a leader yet. Okay. Because I was still learning, you know, different things and I was growing, mm -hmm. you know. But I still am growing to this day. But... So you when weren't a younger. geek, you weren't like a band kid, you weren't an athlete. No, I wasn't an athlete. I mean, I tried a couple of things, but no, I just didn't want to. You know, that's go like that the popular group. It's usually yeah, like I the athletes, things, the cheerleaders, yeah. the. Uh huh. I tried to be a cheerleader. Nope, didn't work. You know, was a mascot. So <laughs> you tried to be the mascot. Yes, I was a mascot. Oh my God. <laughs> How school. is that costume? Cause isn't that hot? Yes, yeah, very hot. Oh Jesus, never again. What was your uh, mascot? Um. Oh, was it a wolf? A wolf? Yeah. So you had to be dancing and all that? Mm hmm You didn't like, how long did you do it Football for? Football field, basketball games, everything. How did you, how long did you do it for? Uh, well, I think maybe like a few weeks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that and short. I yep, I was done. I'm throwing it in the towel, I'm done. Oh, okay. So when did you first get your, um, before I get into your stardom, mm -hmm. how, where were you born and raised? I was born in Irving, but I was raised in like Plano. Okay. Let's go Plano, I think Irving too. So you're a Texas girl. Yeah, I'm real, real Texas. Straight up Texas. Yeah, but my I people, love but my people from Texas Canada. Texas Canada. <laughs> <laughs> you had to throw that in there. Yes, sir. I don't know. So man. do you like Texas Canada? Do you ever go down there and visit? Um, I do. I well, I used to a lot, but now since I'm real busy with you know being in Dallas and. Mm -hmm creating my um new adult life mm -hmm. um i haven't been able to go down there but i do rep test canley you know hard real hard 
nine or three all the way. So you raised with your mom and dad? Um, like what do you mean? Like I was raised I, like, growing up no. in who no, but I was just raised with my mom. Like with your mom? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I do have a father figure. You know. Do you have I a relationship have, with him? No, not my real father, but I do have. Oh, you know, father figure. What happened to your real father? Um, he he's still here, but it's just like. Do you know him? Yeah, I know him, but it's okay. just like I haven't talked to him in years. So, it is what it is, you know. But shout out to you, you know what I'm saying? What's up? <laughs> <If you got that. laughs> but your father figure, he's dominant in your life. Um, yes, he is. But you know, he checks up on me from time to time. I check up on him. You know, whenever I do see him, we do go out and you know, mm-hmm. spend father and daughter time together so yeah okay tell me about a time in your life that you had it rough in your life you know a lot of people growing up or even in their music they talk about oh i started from the bottom and now i'm here this that whatever but some people everybody's bottom is different some people just like some people tell me i was homeless but when i think about homeless i think about you on the streets like some of these people on the streets living under trees bridges whatever that's what i think about homeless Mm -hmm. but some people say no homeless is I don't have a home. I'm at this friend's house, that friend's house, that friend's house. Mm-hmm. So I'm homeless. So tell me about a time that you had it rough. Um, honestly, oh, Jesus. If you want to talk about what we were talking about earlier. I mean, okay, but I'm going to talk about the past. Okay, yeah. go ahead. So basically, like, I would say what, mm, when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. But it started in middle school, you know, whenever I was just rebellious, just, you know, not really doing what I was supposed to do, just being a kid, you know. And then next thing you know, uh, me and my mom, you know, we done went through some things. And then all of a sudden, people got involved. And Which people? The <laughs> people, come on. You talking in circles. I like it straight. Let's go ahead and just talk straight. You know, CPS got involved, but it is what it is, mm-hmm. you know. So you and your mom got into a fight, like a physical altercation? We have before, but okay. um, me and her relationship is amazing now. Okay. But, yes, we have before, and I was wrong for a few things. And you I apologized. Did, and I did, yes. Okay, good. But we talked to those things, you know, we worked things out, and next thing you know, boom, we're here today, so. Okay. But then you got you she you got back to her. So even though those CPS got involved, and you know, of course, they're gonna take you away or whatever. Mm-hmm. You still went with family and um, were able to come back to her. Yeah, I did. I hopped from house to house, like from my granny's house to my mom, back to my mama's house to my friend's house. Like even if I did, you know, get kicked out from my granny's house or my mom's house, I would, you know, stay with friends or. People that I was messing with, you know, at their house until, you know, I found a. The reason why I'm asking these questions, because um, I always feel like people's story, you go through things for a reason. Mm -hmm. I used to help others. Right. Mm -hmm. And just like how you say, you know, I was a kid or teenager. So it's like the way how you said it was like it's expected for me to just give trouble or, you know, be like that. But being a parent, you know, we always want to know what's the cause of these you know, outbreaks. What's mm-hmm. the what's the cause? How can we as a parent be able to handle this in a different way? Mm-hmm. How can we get through to you? Because sometimes children tend to climb up and not tell us really what's going on. And that's really why they act out. But if you don't actually say what's going on, then how can we help you? And it becomes like a physical altercation or an argument that blew out of context. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So how is it like looking back on the things that you went through, how could it have um, been different? Um, I feel like. Like what you could have done as a kid, like to make your outcome different at that time. I feel like if I would have just sat back and listened and took the information in instead of just. You know, shutting everybody out, which a lot of people nowadays, like teenagers, you know, nowadays they tend, they tend to shut people out, and they don't want to express their feelings. But at the same time, I was doing the same thing. But don't do that because 
it's just not gonna get you nowhere. And then plus it's gonna build up anger, which it did in me. And it's gonna And you are angry at everybody else but yourself. I don't know. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but I think I was mad at everybody including myself. Okay. If that makes sense. It does. But I was mad at everybody including myself and it was just like I just didn't care. And I was talking reckless however I wanna talk and things led to how it led, but I did change my ways, but at the same time, you know, it's not okay to just hold stuff in because it's, it's not going to get you nowhere. But I would advise other people to, I don't know how to put it, like either write it down first or find a, find a comfort zone or something that makes you feel safe to or find a friend or t tell somebody, like, you know, how you feeling or just even a little bit each day, like, or every day or every other day or just, you know, through conversations. And that'll help, you know, calm the situation. That'll calm them down. Do you do and that now? More. Mm -hmm, I do. Every day. Do you know how <laughs> special you are? You're very special. I do from time to time. No, I'll like, be like, seeing signs. No, no, I know you're special. I've met you now, what, three, four times? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And every time I know that it's something about you. You're very talented, but you 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 have star power. Please tell her again. Thank you. <laughs> what I tell you today. <laughs> you did. We be having conversations. So you got to embrace it. Yeah. I you got to become the star that you are. And you're right. If you don't walk in your greatness, you may not never achieve it. And you right. <laughs> now, this is some real talk. No, for real. Like boss talk is that one, and mm -hmm. they know it, too. That's why, you know, when that light be shining in here and they don't understand why, it's because God be speaking through me, and they can't figure it out. Mm -hmm. I can see things that other people can't quite see. That's why they can't be me. He's CEO. You know what I'm saying? You get a pep talk all the time, don't you? I do. Every time I come, I, come I get a pep talk every time I come. But just like the situation you were talking about earlier that you shut up people, people were telling you things and you shut them out. Um, now everybody's trying to give you pep talks and tell you how special you are and they want to see you succeed. Mm -hmm. But you're still not really just receiving it like you supposed to. What's causing that? I think it's just probably laziness or scared and worried about what other people think instead of just stepping out of that comfort zone. I mean, but like, honestly, I've been, you know, doing this for years or whatever, but me being an artist and me, you know, singing and stuff, and it's just like, you know, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone now, but at the same time, I'm taking baby steps right now. And as soon as I take that big step out that little box that I'm in right now, it's just like, oh, my God. Like, I don't know how to explain But did it, it hurt? <sighs> when you took those big steps, did it hurt? Not really, but it, like it did, but it didn't, if, if that makes sense. I don't how, know did, how, that, how did it hurt? I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Like, no, how did it hurt? Okay. The battle is in the mind. It mm -hmm. is. Some of the stuff that you think about never even come to fruition. You're right. So the everything that you do when you spoke early, mm -hmm. just a few seconds ago, you said fear, but fear is a false belief. So every time you get around somebody and you cringe up because of fear of a situation mm -hmm. or get a, around a situation that tenses you up, mm -hmm. you got to break that false belief because you'll never understand how to achieve that position that you need to be in while you're dealing with that certain thing if you always cringe up with fear. So mm -hmm. fear is just a false belief. It's just something that's the opposite of faith. And faith is something that strengthens you when you have um, 
you know, something that you believe in. Mm -hmm. Like I believe in God. So my faith ties me to God. So Mm -hmm. that fear is something that I believe, you know, devilish, uh, evil situations try to play with you. And so it takes you out of your game, right? Yeah. So you got to keep that. You got to keep, you, you you gotta keep that faith straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when that you say fear, it's just like you're inviting that in. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, I'm not trying to invite that in because I've been doing what I'm doing, and I'm still doing it to this day, which I'm so thankful. But there's levels. But it is levels, exactly. And when I'm reaching them high levels that I'm reaching now, you know what I'm saying, and I'm still reaching for it, but it's just like, yeah, I'd be scared. Yeah, I'd be. Yeah, I have fear, but at the same time, like, you know, I'm finna kill it. Like, fight through I'm it. I'm just finna go ahead and do it. You know do what you? Uh, what's this? some of the people that reach out to you are in your comments or mm-hmm. in your, you know, like some of the people that. What are some of the things that happen? You have so many subscribers and followers and people who who see you and notice you. Have anybody be like, oh, that's such and such. That's KP. Mm-hmm. When does this happen? Because if you have fake followers, mm. nobody ain't gonna know you. That. <laughs> oh my. Right? God. Am I right? You right. Like it's a lot of people buy you those followers, so, so right. you ain't gonna know them. Like I got a call from a guy today. I'm not gonna say his name. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I will. Bobo. Bobo was like, "E, when I was on Boss Talk, I've been on Boss Talk, man. But it's getting real. Let your wife know." She don't need to be just going everywhere, Mm -hmm. doing whatever, because I met one guy that was like, man, I met Miss Jamaica. I seen her. Mm -hmm. And it's like, or he say he go to the store all the time, and he say people be like, I seen you on that Boss Talk interview. You Bobo. Like, they know him from being on this show. So what I'm saying is you, you, you have to be, you know what I mean? People are homing in more. So when these things happen, it's because of the impact of the people watching the channel. So the fake views and all that stuff is not a thing that we deal with here. And it's not a thing that you deal with. So how are you dealing with the people that will interact with you? How do you? Honestly, I mean, I love my people. My people know I love them. You love them while they're on the Internet. But what about when you go out or something? When I... You mean like in public? Like you see somebody come see to you somebody. in person and be like, oh my God, it's KP, baby. Yeah, of course I interact with them and I'll be like, yeah, girl, hey, girl, how you doing? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> hey. Well, yeah, I'll be doing that. And, you know, I interact with them. We take pictures, videos, whatever you want. You can hug me. You know, I'll follow you back on Instagram. I'm very humble with myself. I'm very cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't feel like I'm, you know... I don't know the word like that bitch or you know like just stuck up or anything like that. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not that type of person. So you can come up to me. Yeah, I don't have a problem with uh, me interacting with my people because I mean they know I love them. They're my, they're my, they're my riders. Your just fans. like how you have fans online and you have people who show you love, you have some people who show you hate online as well. How do you? <laughs> well, I know boss talk do. <laughs> Look, I mean, yeah, I got a few out there, but you, you can't pay that attention because I get so all the time when anybody come to you. Have you ever had anybody walk up to you and hate? No, hell I no. Mean, I hope not, not to my face. Someone no. told me a long time ago. All those people on there who be giving you hate, a lot of times them same ones will fan out when they see you in person. They just on there just trolling. I mean, yeah, there's trolls out there, but. Honestly, me, I don't never get nobody that just be like, you know, uh, you. You act like you all that. Yeah, like you that act way. like you all that because whenever they see me, they be like, oh, bitch, I'm really with you. You know, like, because, right. you know, you cool. Like, you real chill and I'm, mm-hmm. you goofy. So it's just like, <laughs> I be like, yo, girl, that's me. Hey. So, I mean, I don't ever get that. But if I do, it's just like, girl, you bye. Like, I ain't got to talk to you. You ain't got to talk to me <laughs> for. Next, <laughs> it is what it is, unless you want to do something, but you're not. So, next, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I treat it. So, man, so where do you see your career taking you? Ooh, and do you time. have a lot? You have a time limit because you know how you, mm-hmm. you not 
No, because the way how I you do. be acting, you be like, uh, fair, fair, fair. Mm -hmm. So do you actually give yourself a time limit on where you want to be? Um, I do, but I don't talk about it. But um, I do give myself at least, I got to be up. I'm talking about I'm manifesting my goals that I, you know, I'm trying to reach. And it's just like, but I need to put it in motion. And sometimes people say you got to speak it into existence. That, that. That's why manifestation is real. Mm -hmm. So what is your goal? My goal is to basically be a, I want to be a billionaire, but I would most likely try to be a multimillionaire with, a, you know, try and get a clothing line, you know, pop in and, you know, have my own, I, I guess what they call it, a pop-up shop. Mm -hmm. But. I don't want it to be just no ordinary pop-up shop. I want it to be like, you know, you got people that do hair here, and you got people that got nails over here. You got people that do... Um, so you want a full... Line. Yeah, bone. I want everything. And then I want to... Um, we got food, and then we got the... Um, I think it's what well, we can get. Fried chicken, <laughs> fries, everything, your name it. <coughs> and then plus you can get your hair cut for the... Um, for the guys, you know what I'm saying? Get it says everything on the one everything. spot. Everything in one spot. So wow. that's what I want to run a business. It's just like I just want, you know, everybody to feel comfortable in my spot. So it's not all about your brand. You want to actually be an entrepreneur yeah, as well. Yeah, I want to well. be an entrepreneur as well. And I want to, you know, maybe if I do, you know, well, I am going to go far. Let's say that. I am going to go far with this. And whenever I do, I'm going to put that in line. I'm gonna take care of that. So okay. So how long before you get to far? Ooh, hopefully before I turn, before I'm legal legal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before I'm a legal legal. So hopefully before I'm 25, I'm gonna say that. Okay. Before I'm 25, but before I'm legal legal, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. So, but yeah, hopefully I'll put that in order. So. Marco, Marco. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Turn up. <laughs> yeah. Ball talk. Ay. Ball talk 101. Ay. Ay. Feeling it, feeling it. Ball talk 101. Ay. Ay. Feeling it, feeling it. Ball talk 101. Ay. Ay. Feeling it, feeling it. Ball talk 101. Ay. Yeah. Ay. Ball talk 101. Sitting in the chair. Ay, look at my hair, feeling all cool, ay. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all just stop playing. We'll take it to that nigga, Ball Talk 101. I'm going to come through. I'm going to just get it done. Yeah, yeah, I'm hanging out with Key KP, baby. Yeah. And it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> KP, hey, baby. I'm going to chill KP, baby. I'm going to grab me one on that hole. I don't ever do that one. Hey, baby. Yeah. Um, I be chilling. Yeah. Let's get it. Yo, yo, yo. KP baby in the building, man. It's about to go down, man. No idea what's <laughs> <laughs> It about to go down. It's, it's up. Okay. Let's go. Hey, I see you. Uh, hey. That old Z and that one. That old Z and that one. Yeah. See you in the car. Hey. 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 Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Sitting in the car, thinking, thinking about you. Yeah, sitting in the car, trying to be my boo. Yeah, my boo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitting in the car, thinking, thinking about you. Hey, sitting in the car, trying to be my boo. Hey. Hey, be my boo, mm. hey, be my boo, hey, sitting in a car, hey, thinking about you, 
still trying to be my boy. I'm too hot. I was probably mad cause they not. I shoot but they missing they shot. Stiff little bitch. Flint sounds hot. I rock. This bitch I rock with they glock. A bitch better not. About to be missing a top. Don't touch that shit too hot. Ooh, the money applied. Why not KP outside? You not. Hold on. You not. Hold up, bitch. You not. You not. Mm -mm. I say I'm tired of holding the line yeah, in the car. There you go. Let's go. Acapella. Acapella? Oh. I say I'm tired of all the lying and the crying And on the phone late nights Oh, you really trying And all those games You play Ooh, baby Hey, hold on I say I'm tired of all the games Look at me, baby You can't even look at me in my face You always playing games You always mm -hmm. Better look at me before I get the fuck out then. Mm. You know what I mean? It's some different. It's man, some different. man, I love your vibe. I always love it. I'm, I, I can't wait till you just just be driving hit after hit so I can just go and yeah, just put it in and just keep stuff. going, man. Yeah, and I, I just want to tell you, man, don't never, ever stop doing what you love. And that's this music, okay? I won't. I won't. You know, I'm keep going. You know, I'm keep doing what I'm doing. So. And you and, and and you and you like I say, don't ever forget your star power. No matter who in the room, you in the room. Bet, not for real. Thanks. And that's the way it's supposed to go down. Always. Check it, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. We love you. I love y'all too. The long way. <laughs> man. <Very short. laughs> Did we get our handle already? How can no. you get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? So I got. TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook now. How many followers you got on TikTok Ooh, now? I got 1.9 now. That's hard. Almost at 2 million. 1.9, almost 2 million? Mm -hmm. And how much on Facebook? About like 5,000 now. 5, yeah, that's hard. Yeah. I just started, y'all. Please, not too much on me. But <laughs> you what know, about I just Instagram? On Facebook, you know, I was not into Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. Oh, uh, Instagram, I have what? 90K? That's hard. Mm. And what else? That's it. That's it. Twitter. Yeah. Oh, Twitter. Tweet, tweet, no, right not on Twitter. You know, <laughs> no, I'm not. Mm -mm, I'm staying in a little away from Twitter, but no, I don't have a Twitter. But everything is really just KP Baby, or it's KP Baby with three Y's and an underscore, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been another Thank great you. segment, Boss Talk One Hundred and One, where the bosses. Talk.